Plug in some attitude with Sound Boys. So we're here with Fred from Analog Sweden at Superbooth 24. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> awesome to have you here. Thank you. So what have Analog Sweden brought to the show? Sorry, I have to do it like this. What have you brought to the show this year? Yeah, so we, of course we have uh, our Swenergizers. This is the reverse engineered energizer with uh, expansion for Eurorack. And uh, then we have our new energizer filter and VCA modules and so these are based off a uh, prototype from the energizer that was brought to us by uh, Anthony Linnell from Northern Electronics and uh, we opened it up we were supposed to repair it for him and we found out that this one was quite a bit different because it was full of a proto board so we decided to make a Eurorack module based on this a particular prototype because we thought it sounded very nice and it's slightly different than uh, the original Energizer. So this is our fir first uh, Eurorack module, with, uh, which will be later uh, in a few months. It will be available in a few months. Uh, so that's for the, the Energizer part of things. And then we have the thing we're, that we're really excited for here. This is the Chrom 2. It's a generative percussive harmonic device uh, basically, a fancy name for a drum machine with um, melodic interaction. <laughs> Amazing. It looks beautiful. It looks something out of um, Clockwork Orange. Yeah, why not? Uh, uh, maybe I should wear the, the cane and uh, <laughs> you know, the hat and everything. <laughs> Lovely right, mood, so by the way. Yeah. yeah, what does it do? So, it's basically a, a design from a guy called Albert Nyström. He designed a drum machine called Crum Drum, which is a smaller... Uh, version um, that we we noticed and uh, we contacted him and said hey do you want to make a bigger version of this something that we can really exploit all the possibilities and expand on it and uh, we decided to work together and uh, for the design we involved Louvre Hulten which is pretty well known in the synth world for his uh, amazing custom uh, builds yeah like the Pac-Man the yeah. Pac-Man synth exactly for example, he's made so many amazing things. And we were so happy when he wanted to take on doing the design for our machine as well. And we think that uh, the machine also goes very well with his design, his design ideas. It's Absolutely. a bit quirky and you can do some weird stuff with it. Cool. Can we hear what it sounds like? Yeah. So this is all about four channels of drum voices and a melodic voice. Uh, so sorry, that's three drum voices and one melodic voice. And uh, you can generate patterns uh, basically by pressing a beat button. So if we want to do something like 4-4, four, four, we do like this. And then you can change the sounds. You have different parameters of sounds. You can randomize it. Slightly harder the sounds. This is identical for all, all the channels. So we have a nice little kick here. And then we can do a hi hat sound. And I will play very simple, just generate here. Wow, great feature to have it just generating. Yeah, it just generated. But you can also play it if you want to. I mean, there's no either and. You have full control over, over what you're doing. You can add some extra spice to it, like having a... Like this. So if you set down the probability, it will play a little bit fewer notes. And for just for good show, we can enter uh, some... Uh, snare drum sounds manually here and of course you can change the sound add some effects now here with some randomness oh, I'm changing the wrong channel okay there we go 
This sounds really nice. Let's do something like here. These ones, these are performance controls, so you can affect the frequency on all the channels at the same time. And probability, take it down. I must have probability. Exactly. Breakdowns and drops. Brilliant. Add a little bit swing. And that's a cool. We have the extreme mode as well. You can extend the ratios of all the parameters. connections does it have? I will turn it around for you. Let it can play for us. We can take it down a little bit. A lot. The interface intermission. Wow. So this is sort of a interface uh, wish list. Not everything is connected yet, but uh, a lot is. We're still discussing the final specifications on this one, but uh, it's pretty much spot on. Brilliant. Yeah. Really good. So we need to mention also that we have, um, you can save all the snapshots here, so you can write it like this, and then you can do another pattern like this, write it here, and then you can switch between. Oh, that's really good. And you can change them also if you want to. So let's do another one, uh, like more extreme here. Let's play five, eight, six, seven. Oh, you can chain them. Yeah, that's so now really you chain cool. them all the time. Brilliant. Well, it sounds fantastic. I love the features. Yeah, um, thank you very much. When are you, when are you, are you planning to release it this year? When will it be available? Well, it's a bit hard now. We're going into the uh, process of making it commercially viable, basically, in the construction and everything. So there's still some work to be done. But uh, if we're lucky, maybe this year. That's all I can say right now. So these are prototypes. They are made out of wood. <laughs> so, yeah. But they are so nicely done by Lowe. But uh, I think... Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We're, we're aiming to raise them as soon as possible, really. But, I mean, we have all these different instrument types. There are six types on each channel. And uh, we're really working on perfecting them and also adding some extra features. Also waiting for feedback from the users here. Uh, so people well, come up with all kinds of strange and nice ideas. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. Well, they look great and they sound great, and um, we're really pleased that you showed this to us. Today. Thank you very much.
Nice to meet you.